Signals from another world. Signals from another world. This morning, because I go out to do my brother's uh, unveiling at his tombstone tomorrow, of the unveiling of the stone. And I was thinking about, gee, you know, my father's birthday, my, because my father had a birthday, has a birthday on January 2nd. And then I said, you know, when is his birthday? Um, in the Hebrew calendar. And before I get into that, yesterday I went to a, what's called a Christmas party. No people who were practicing Christians there. But it was a party, secular party. But even the word secular, I don't like anymore. It makes it too, like, acceptable. It's like a, a phrase called um, uh, Donald Trump's base. That makes it acceptable. Any ideas within that in that community, oh, that's his base. So the word secular is the same kind of thing. Oh, it's secular. It's non-religious. It's secular. Well, everybody in that uh, secular party, you know, they were either divorced, not married, uh, dancing uh, man and woman, uh, you know, I'm vegetarian, so they get one person, they, uh, I mean, the hostess gave me a, 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 a cheese, um, uh, whatever it was, a little quiche cheese, the other was spinach. It, it turned out to be a quiche because it was like a little cheese pie, and then the other one was spinach pie. I tasted it, it had a flavor of ham in it. Now... Somebody said, you know, I think that's got ham in it. So I went and, you know, what can I do? Take a microscope to a vegetarian pie? You know, trying to live in New York. Remember, I'm Alexander Ben Froyam of New York. I'm getting far away from what I wanted to say. So I'm listening, I'm watching. This morning I'm lying in the bed and I look at my father and it's the 2nd of January, uh, January 6th, um, uh, 1920, and I look it up in the Hebrew calendar. It comes out to be the 15th of Tevet. You know, a few days ago here. The 15th of Tevet. In other words, I missed it. I missed doing the candle. I, I do, I do your side, uh, you know, like uh, memorial candles on birthdays and death days. And I missed his Hebrew day. Because quite frankly, in our family, we, we go by the 
Gregorian or whatever it's called, Gregorian chant calendar. And this calendar is, is, you know, January 6th. But the 15th of Teves is 30 days before the 15th of Shabbat, the new year for trees. And in my writings and findings, I go by now the 15th of Shabbat because it's 30 days after the 10th of Teves, where the Beth Shammai way to do Shabbat is the first of Shabbat, and, but that's not 30 days after. And there has to be 30 days because that's the, the zelem of it, the essence of it leaves before, and you need 30 days to prepare for a holiday, so to speak. And that's one of the reasons we have to do the 15th of Shabbat, because it's, it's, it's 30 days, it's more, you need 30 days after, and the big day is the 10th of Teves, which is to me the real new year, the real Rosh Hashanah of the first of, of Tishri really get sealed by three seals on the 10th of Tevez. So here I am, at, again, long introductions, lying in bed on the 15th of Tevez, which is my father's birthday. And I'm lying in there, I'm reading it now, because... I was sick this morning, cold, and I thought I need an angel to help me. I thought of Mikael. And then I thought of Raphael because I needed something to help me, to cure me. Because I was sick. And then I recognized that Raphael is Shabbat. Raphael is 311 in Gematria. And so is Shabbat. Not Tevez, the month where, that we're talking. Shabbat. Tu Bishvat. We're all this imaginative thinking and, and, and dialogue I'm doing is about because I'm looking into the ra angel Raphael and the Raphael of healing and the not necessary for doctors and medicine. And if you want, you want medicine, you go to a tree because the other, there's three gematrio from Raphael for, for this 311. Ish is man. Shevet, Elon, Elon fully spelt out is 311. And all these are Raphael. So Raphael is the, is the angel of Shevet for the entire month of Shevet. And of two bishvat and the trees, the, the fruit of the tree, the healing. And one of my things about this, now listen to this, is to hug a tree and get the tree energy, the Elan energy, which was my mother's name, Elaine. The Elan energy, hug the tree for Shavet. And you can start now because things always start 30 days before. The manifestation started 30 days before. So this is like a strange thing that I should have this tremendous breakthrough on my father's birthday. My father sent me this, Raphael. And there's a very deep, deep thing here that I'm, you can turn this off. This is all history for me. 
why I'm I'm not secular. This is a secular world. Oh, I like that one. Let me write that down while I do it. Secular. Not cycle, sickle, but secular. Not, yeah. Not secular world. Not secular. We're living in a secular world. Secular is also a cycle, but it's a sick world. Some man shared with me that he came from a Muslim background. He can't, his father and Muslim, uh, mother were Muslim, he said, at this party. That immediately shows that he's not interested. He said, well, how can he be religious here in New York? He used to observe Ram, uh, Ramadan. Ramadan is, is one of the most beautiful things. 30 days of fasting. Daytime fast. That means you still eat. But you don't eat during the day. It shows you that in the phys and you still do things in the physical world, but it, you you do things in the physical world as a spirit. You see, you're not feeding your body during the daytime. And Judaism has this too as daytime fasts, and the tenth of Teves, which is to me like the biggest is 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 one of the biggest days of the year. You probably haven't even heard about it, right? Tenth of Teves is a daytime fast. And the tenth of Teves always comes in the winter, and it, it, quite frankly, it's not so many hours. And it shows you that you are a spirit in the physical. And so... The idea of 10th of Teves for an entire month is what Ramadan is. And it implants on the thing, but to, be, to do Ramadan, you have to like sometimes, you know, like if it's in the summer, you have to get up like eat at 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. So you need a whole community and a preparation, you know. Here in New York, it's not not easy or propitious to do that. And so, lost it. Lost the spiritual component of his life. And now he, you know, whatever he does, makes utensils or children's toys or whatever his business is. And that's what the whole party was about to me. Everybody there was, uh, you know, living the American, American style, you know? The hamburger. The American style is the hamburger. And so, it's wonderful, but to me it's the low potential of human being. Anyway, there's more to this that I'm going to be unfolding. But my father, on his birthday, sent me Raphael. Five years ago, I went to the hospital because my father wanted me to go. It started a procedure that led me to actual trial and loss of trial over this case. Five years of it being, and my brother died because of this case. One of the reasons. 
And so on his birthday, he's now sent me the angel Raphael as a lead on that the other thing was all preparation. You see? And there's no doubt that he sent it to me because I wouldn't have been thinking. I, I was sick. I, 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 was, I was sick this morning, cold. I was cold on that morning. And, and otherwise, I wouldn't be looking for, you know, I've always said it's not necessary to go to the doctors. Or Raphael is the angel. Okay. And you can plug into this and Raphael will send, send healing. And we'll be discussing this. And Raphael is the reason that we have two Bishvat. And it's the angel of the month of Shabbat. And you can start plugging in it now because we're only days away from the first of Shabbat. And going to be going over some of the healing procedures because man is a tree of life, a zaddik is a tree. A zaddik is also considered a cedar tree. It's a tree with no fruits. And. Cedar is the same word as rice, and you know I was a, I was a uh, well one year I ate rice for only a year when I started being a vegetarian. I became macrobiotic. This was forty years ago. So in this long-winded never got to it. It's the whole thing. This house here is an oasis. It's an oasis within the secular society. And it's a place where I receive energies that are necessary for me to attain the next levels of the potential of hum humanness. And I look forward to more unfolding.